Even tells us that it must be so. We wait for Prince Charming. We hope he's orthodox. But we wait for him. And we long for Cinderella. But they never show up. Every possible candidate that we run into has a flaw. And so we keep moving, hoping that we'll find greener pastures somewhere, that perfect person who won't have a flaw that we won't have to deal with. Um, and how do you know if, if you find the right person? It's always a question. It's a very acute problem, especially since we don't live in an orthodox world or culture where there are all kinds of candidates. Uh, we just don't have that luxury. Now here's the truth. You will never, ever find one single person that doesn't have stuff that you'll have to deal with. Amen? <laughs> Never a single person that you find that doesn't have stuff. The only question for you is, is this particular set of stuff something that I can live with for the next 50 years? Now certainly, God can change a person, and a person by God's grace can change, but the probabilities are that the stuff you see in him today will be with him when you celebrate your 50th anniversary. And the stuff you see in her will be with her when you celebrate your 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't look for the person with no stuff. Try to find the person whose stuff is something that you can live with for the next 50 years. <clears throat>